Hi, and welcome to Just Hobby Hangout. Today, we're going to try some punch needle. You can't really see that. There you go. Sorry, trying to get used to the new lighting. We're trying to make it work a bit nicer. Uh, let's get this off open. So, I've actually brought down my lovely trusty Lowry cross stitch stand so that I don't have it wobbling all over the place so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Um, so we got instructions. I've never done punch needle before in my life. So this is as much a learning experience for me as it is you. So we've got Should be everything that we need. The very small punch needle. I think this is meant to be the threader, but it seems broken. Yeah, because here's the little bit of tape that was holding it together. Sticker, even. It's not even tape. There. Have that stuck back together for now. You can't even see it. It is like basically like cheese wire. And then we've got the Love You. The yarn. Which is not very nice quality. It's poor. Oh well. So I'm going to read through this so separate the two parts of your embroidery hoop and place it into your oh yeah I forgot to show you that hoop so let's put this into the hoop design so That's as close as I'm going to get. So let's tighten that up. Make sure the fabric's nice and taut. I don't know how taut you're meant to have it for punch needle, but we're going to find out. And if this completely fails, I'm still going to put it up. Um, for those of you that want to know, I bought this at Tesco's last year, and the brand says Kit and Craft. Uh, says made in China all about designs LTD Cambridgeshire so that's the information if it's any good we'll find out if it's poop we'll also find out okay Cut seven meters from the pink yarn and set aside. I think I found my tape measure the other day. How many meters is a meter is a hundred centimeters, yeah? Aaron? A meter is a hundred centimeters, yeah? Uh, yeah. Well, I'll just do that then. So... Where's the end of the pink? What? You could at least make it easy for me to find the end. Found the end. Okay, so... 
So I'm not oh, all around. I need this end. <laughs> Okay, set this aside. What's next? This will be a <coughs> to push the threading tool <coughs> through wait what push the threading tool through the punch needle until you can see the end coming out of the handle There should have been a disclaimer saying be careful not to stab yourself. Okay. Thread yarn through. It doesn't tell me which colour to do. I'm assuming I'm starting with the pink. I'm going to start with the pink. Okay. Thread your yarn through the threading tool and gently pull the tool back through the punch needle. I wonder if this made more sense to tell me to go through that hole and then through the. Oh. I'm going to see if I've got a small crochet hook handy. Is that a tiny one? No, it's not small enough. Is that a tiny one? No. Where are all my tiny crochet hooks? I've got tiny ones somewhere. This is a tiny one. All right. This one, one end should fit through this. Yes. Oh, for goodness sake, this. <sighs> this yarn is very poor quality. It's very bad acrylic yarn that is just splitting. Anyway, I got it threaded. Let's shove these back in. Keep the mess to a minimum. Now what? About 10 centimeters to avoid unthreading. I think that's like 10 centimeters. Let's find an end and check. Yep, more than 10. Right, I'm gonna set the Lowry stand up. There, that's tightened up. Voila. And that is why I like a Lowry stand. Cause usually I'm resting on it like this. Cause I two hand with my cross stitch. I will do a video on my cross stitch at some point. Right. Give me a minute while I swap cameras. I uh, swap cameras. Swap my camera positioning. Okay, all set up. Um, I just realised it's taken me 15 minutes just to get to this point, so some of that will get cut out. But we'll be fine. So, 
Once you're ready to begin, follow the design and punch your thread needle through. I'm just going to go for it and see. I'm going to watch some um, TV while I do this. I don't think that's too bad for a first ever attempt at punch needle.
Right, so I finished. And it says, I think I meant to just, I don't know. This side looks fairly decent, but then this side I'm like, what the hell is that? But no, this side looks pretty good. So I think I'm pretty proud of that. I am going to trim this bit down. There we go. I think for a first attempt, that is not terrible. So I'm going to put that back in, I think. No, we're going to do... I need to go get some different scissors. Uno momento. Alright. So now I need to make the bobbin. But it wants me to cut this out. The bobbin, the pom-pom. Tassel, tassel. That's what it is. It's a tassel. But I don't... Und why they didn't just give you two bobbins for the yarn the size of that I couldn't tell you because it just seems stupid to waste enough cardboard to have a whole one they could have just yeah I don't know companies like to waste things and make you do more isn't even going to be straight. Look. If I do this, I bet that this is going to be approximately the size. Oh yeah, look. Just that is over half of that bobbin. So they could have easily Saved on cardboard. <sighs> Goodness me. I'm sure I'm not the only one frustrated by companies doing stuff like this. Like, look, it's so tricky to cut this. They could have just made everyone's lives easier and cut it on their machines. <sighs> this wrap oh now I gotta take a meter off of this cut out your tassel template from the cardboard that your yarn was around around take the seven meters aside you put aside in point two yeah okay and cut this into one six meter and one one meter. So I just need to cut a meter off. <sighs> Take measure, come back. Do 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 do. Where's a hundred? Where's a hundred? Oh, I have not knotted it up. Oh, fudge my blah, 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 blah. <sighs> I'm still frustrated about the bobbin cutting, I'm sorry. <sighs> this is going to probably be one of my longest videos. Because there's some good in this video.
and I'm gonna have to learn how to bleep. Fun. If I haven't, I've cut something out. Okay, there's my one meter. Put that aside now. Okay. Wrap the six meter round the bobbin thing in a bob. As shown. Okay, I'll figure it out. So. Oh my god, I'm not paying attention. I was looking at the camera trying to create a little shadow over where I'm working. I might just turn this light off for a little bit. Ah, oh yeah, that's fine. Oh look, now you can see a little bit better. And that's what that side looks like, which just looks like a blur. And then this side looks okay. And I'm not sure that's the way around you're actually meant to do it. Because if you look at all those rug making videos, they have this side is the bad side. This is the side that they glue. And then this is the good side. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll learn and do a rug by hand. I don't know, because that was fairly quick. At this point in the video recording, I'm at an hour and a half. So, that's not too bad. And I'm almost done. So, this whole project has not taken long. And I took like a 10 minute break because I was getting fed up with the tedious of the fabric. The fabric was getting really, really annoying. And now this yarn is getting annoying. it wants me to cut this in half why didn't you just tell me to do that in the first place rather than making me do loads and loads of different steps simplify your instructions and now thread this through the top of all of this if I can even mm. have I got a needle handy indeedy doody I have a needle handy Making it easier on myself, because the instructions are... I mean, let's be fair, let's, let's be fair. The instructions are clear. They are clear. I can follow them and get a thing out of it that semi looks like what it's supposed to. Mostly looks like what it's supposed to. I had double knot, okay, so I'm assuming I just do that. Like, they're not completely stupid instructions. They, I can make what they're telling me to make. They've just made the instructions incredibly long-winded because I've never done this before and I think that there's too much information there. Too much information about the wrong thing in my opinion so yeah there we go nice and tight nice and tight 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 now what's next cut along the bottom I'm going to use these no I'm not use these because I can actually cut through no I can't I still can't cut through it I want to cut 
cut the bloody cardboard. I'm going to have so much bleeping in this video. There, it's off. Now where's my second hat? Did I just toss it? I did. It's here. Now. Oh my god, what is happening? Four centimetres. Oh, I'm going to measure this and show that the whole thing is bloody four centimetres. So it wants me to wrap the second bit of yarn approximately four centimetres from the bottom. Okay, well, I was wrong. My math. Visual measuring is not good, so yeah, I'm where I need to be. And then I've got to tie that in a double knot to secure trim if needed. That's fine. The tassel instructions, other than the extra steps for cutting, we're not terrible. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. There. And now I'm going to trim, trim, trim. to the bottom of your embroidery hoop it may take effect of course it will make it easier to take the fabric out why is that piece not okay that piece wasn't in for some reason fine it's not in go in my scrap yarn bag in a minute so now tie it to the outer ring or inner ring outer ring I'm assuming Da, 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 da. Ugh, so much scrap yarn. That would make a really nice rug though. That feels really nice. Not with this fabric. This fabric, I'm going to show you what it does. So you put the needle in and it does that. It does the massive holes. Let's get it. So like, you go in like that and the hole is just stretching and this fabric just does not go back properly so when I was doing it I was like breaking the fibres pretty much and then there was no more fibres to hold it back together so it got really tricky in some places like here like what is that what is that I don't know. Anyway, now I've got to cut this down. <sighs> Which is fine. I do this for my um, cross stitch baubles that I make sometimes. Oh, 
There we are. And that's the finished piece. So give me a minute and I'll put it up and we'll do a final thoughts. Okay, so here it is, all finished. So thoughts on the kit. Would I buy it again? No. Have I fallen in love with Punch Needle? Possibly. Am I willing to give Punch Needle another try? Hell yes. Um, do I think this kit was worth it? Judging on the fact that I paid two pounds for it, yeah, it probably was worth it. Um, but I haven't seen it back in Tesco since. I don't think they've bothered doing kits again. Um, this needle, yeah, the the kit was oh, was it two pounds? I don't think it even says on the box. Maximum four pounds. I think it was two. Um, <coughs> yeah, everything is was worth the cost that it was. So, is it worth your cash? Sorry, nerdy uh, crafter. Stolen it. Didn't mean to steal it. Um, was it worth your cash? Yeah, it was only four pounds. Like, maximum. I think it was two, though. Um, yeah, I'd say it is worth your cash. Is it worth the headache? Maybe not so much. Um, was it fun? For the most part, yeah. Until the this rubber started sliding down and I didn't realize so I was then only pushing through like this much when I needed to be pushing through this much but yeah no I th I I would say if you wanted to give it a try go for something like this and then in the next video, we'll be trying my new one that you would have seen, not in the last video, in the previous video. Um, and I will get on to doing, I'm pointing this at you. I'm copying Nerdy Crafter and I'm not meant to be. <laughs> I don't watch Nerdy Crafter a lot, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, my cat is playing with something. What are you playing with? What are you batting around? Come here. Come on, fatty. <sighs> There's a big fluffy kitty for those kitty lovers out there. Um, yeah, sorry, nerdy crafter. Didn't mean to copy. Um, no, I think that I think this is a good kit uh, for how much it cost. Why are you all wet? Ew. Has he been outside? Um, but yeah, I think it was good. Hopefully I can get this down to a reasonable length of time and you all enjoy it. Um, catch you in the next one. Bye.